then the last time I went, I was like, I don't want to do this for you know. George said that? No, I said that to myself. Oh. I said, I've been to the same site six times. I don't need to go anymore. Yeah. So people can't take the bikes on this trail. I don't think they're safe to come over here. Okay. Yeah, this one will be very hard. And yeah, there's a sign there. No bikes. You can take, you can hike or bring a horse. But now here we are on federal land and beyond that point that we were at was the open space that belongs to Albuquerque but once you cross into the federal land now you're on forest land so the laws out here in the forest lands are different and then this become more wilderness so once you cross into the boundary of the wilderness then yes it's better to come with somebody because you can get in trouble out here either falling or meeting head on with with a bear or a mountain lion and if you're on your own then you become a target so even coming out here with a dog may not be good either because coyotes and and dogs I mean and they do attack the dogs mountain lions and coyotes will will attack will go after a dog and if they can't get the dog then I'll come after you. It's always easier than coming down because coming down you can slide on the rocks and on the gravel but it's easier to climb up stick today because I was afraid that we were going to do this I wanted to come out and hike up a little more but in order to keep your balance it is better to bring at least one walking stick
go back and catch the trail out. There should be another one right here. Okay. To go back and take the cars. Oh, okay. I remember there's this trail and another one, and it goes around those rocks over there. All right. The boulder. All right. Okay. What's that? Well, if we just keep climbing up, we'll just go back. But I wanted to catch the other one because it's it goes down. Okay. And we always came around that in those boulders. <laughs> I never came this far on this trail. On this trail? Yeah. 